This video explains how to calculate the harmonic mean using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in the first example of this video, I will show you how to calculate the harmonic mean of a vector object. And for this, we first need to create some example data, as you can see in line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new vector object is appearing, which is called X. And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that our vector object contains eight different numeric values. Now, if you want to calculate the harmonic mean of this vector, then we first need to install and load the psych package, as you can see in lines five and six of the code. I have installed this package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line six of the code. And then in the next step in line eight of the code, I'm applying the harmonic.mean function that is provided by the psych package to our vector object X. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom that some output is returned and this output is showing the harmonic mean of our data. So in this first example, I have explained how to calculate the harmonic mean of a vector object. However, we can also apply the harmonic.mean function to a data frame column. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line 10 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm first loading some example data. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object called Iris is appearing. And we can print the first six rows of this data set by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains five different columns and the first four columns contain numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to calculate the harmonic mean of the column sepal length. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 13. And in this line of code, I am once again applying the harmonic.mean function of the psych package. However, this time I'm applying this function to a data frame column. And I'm specifying this by first specifying the name of the data frame. And then I'm using the dollar operator to extract the values of the column sepal length. So if you run line 13 of the code, you can see at the bottom that another output is returned. And this value is the harmonic mean of the column sepal length. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.